So guys, what is going on? We are back with another rebuild, and this time we're actually rebuilding a team that quote-unquote needs it. They're not playing well, let's be honest. Eric Winston is, like, I don't even know how he's still playing in the league. What, Like, I don't understand. But this is one of the teams that I haven't really had a whole lot of experience with in the Madden's past. Um, the only real player that uh, I trade for or have any knowledge of um, for trading and salary cap stuff is really just Tyler Eifert. Um, sometimes, you know, we go AJ Green, but I would assume a lot of these players have some ridiculous contracts. I, I kind of came into this thinking the team was going to be really great, um, but, you know, their their play in real life has really affected their overall. Jesus, Andrew Whitworth is expensive. I did not know he was 34 either. Gee, oh, man, I'm going to have to pull a Joe Thomas out here and just say, see ya, pal. Uh, AJ Green's not making too much. Gino's all right. Fonte is all right. Ooh, okay, so oh, I really want to keep Andy Dalton, but man, that price tag is ridiculous. I think we have to keep him, though. Uh, lots of expensive players here. I always love Michael Johnson, but not for that price and development trade. Dre Kirkpatrick, what are you doing? Um, they need to restructure the crap out of that man. Um, but nothing really too spectacularly crazy. We're not going to be losing too many of the key players that make a difference. Like, obviously, you guys probably don't care about... Kirkpatrick or any of that stuff you know any of you Bengals fans out there so with one of the first moves we're actually gonna take Michael Floyd here and we might actually keep him um I know uh the Patriots already signed him in real life but you know they didn't hear so uh who says we can't have him you know what I'm saying so here we trade Terrence Knight and Dre Kirkpatrick in a third round for Taylor Lewan, who we will end up trading um Whitworth for or not Whitworth for but you know what I mean we're gonna trade Whitworth off so here we might have over traded a little bit but Jake Fisher Adam Jones in the second round this year for Jack Conklin. So now we have the uh, the Titans tackles, which is really a good thing, honestly. So it's been several rebuilds, but we finally got Mac back. And uh, it only took us Iloka, Whitworth in the first round this year. Whitworth is a beast. And honestly, I know uh, Mac makes up for a very uh, great portion of that defense. But <clears throat> <clears throat> clear my throat, thank you very much. With their trade of our beastie boy, they have one of the best lines in the league. Um, right up there with the uh, Cowboys, clearly. Uh, obviously, they're going to put in Whitworth at left tackle or right tackle. Um, I know their O-line's a little expensive, but they become a force. And this should work. We trade Brandon LaFell, Ray Maluga, and a fourth round for Jordan Hicks from the Eagles. I was going to take Jordan Matthews. But uh, I feel like we've had him a couple of times now. And he hasn't played outstandingly well. Here we get a uh, nice Keanu Neal for our Luis Vasquez. Greg Hardy in a first round this year. We got a first round trading off one of our backup DTs, I believe. Here we trade Vincent Ray for Deion Jones. We're going to try to put Deion Jones at one of the safety spots because he's fast. Hopefully he does convert like most of the players do. For some reason, the Bears want our defensive tackle. So we're going to trade him to Mata Pico. Andrew Billings, and I think Pat Sims for the Bears' first round this year and fourth round next year. He retrade Carlos Dansby, Will Hill the third, and Eugene Monroe for Aaron Donald. I was not even, I'm not even going to lie. I was looking for trade bait to get a first-round draft pick, and I seen three greens. I was like, no way this goes, and it did. I think it's because Aaron Donald re-signs quickly if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure he retrade all these players for a first round from the broncos hoping this goes through will it and it does clint bowling ian williams and a first round draft pick this year for Allen robinson we now have our wide receiver core to so retrade quinton copels a sixth round this year and a third round next year for david amerson it's a little bit more on the expensive side it says he doesn't fit our scheme but uh we really need a cornerback desperately uh and i'm willing to pay the cap for it it's a little rough but uh, he's not the worst player ever, so we need at least one more corner, I would say. He would trade all three of these free agent linebackers for Colts first round. I'm not going to lie where I got him. That's where, you know, that's where I got him. I really didn't want to do this move again. I tried my best to get Malcolm Butler. Someone new on the team just couldn't do it. This was the best corner we can get for this set of skills. We trade Giovanni Bernard, Sean Williams, and a first round this year that we acquired from the Dolphins, I think. I uh, don't remember. So we obviously know Jack Muhort is going to need a contract, but uh, Michael Johnson straight up for Muhort. That was probably the reason why uh, they gave him away so easily. 
So we finally have our roster, and it's actually not looking terrible. Uh, the wide receivers are all right. Obviously, AJ Green's a beast. Uh, Andy Dalton's pretty solid himself. Uh, Tyler Eifert's a beast, obviously. Uh, the whole line is about an 80, what, maybe 85 average. Not bad at all. Um, lots of development trade to go around as well. But the linebacker's looking a little worse than I remember. Uh, I kind of want to have a rookie there. I don't know if we're going we're gonna to try to get one or not. Um, the front seven's looking all right. I'd say the front five. Jordan Hicks is pretty solid too, but uh, we're a little weak at middle linebacker backup. So, you know, I don't expect something too great out of this defense. But with this pass rush, we should be looking good. Obviously, I want to switch these left and right end. But uh, unless I try to get a rookie middle linebacker, that should be the team that we are going to go with into the regular season. So we got two things interesting here. Well, one, we have to take a look if there's a new draft player that's gonna be a beast. And two, we're two and zero. Oh. But there's another thing, a player has regressed. I don't know how this happened. Awareness by one, under four yards of carry. Well, that does not matter at all. Our guys are probably gonna resign ridiculous deals too. Although one of the guys was a lineman, so it can't be too crazy of players. It doesn't seem, uh, if speed is genetic, then Beckett, it really lucked out in the gene pool. So we have a bye week, and we're 11-5. and five. We barely beat the uh, Steelers out for the division. Uh, Andy Dalton had a little bit better numbers than I expected. His, and I wish his touchdowns were a little better. Jeremy Hill, disappointing. Dree Archer fumbled less than you, pal. Like, just let that sink in. I know you had twice his carries, but even then, you only tied him for fumbles. And he had more touchdowns. What is this? Terrible rushing attack for this team. Uh, AJ Green went off. Alan Robinson did all right. I wish he would have had a little bit better. Michael Floyd did his job. I'd like to say as a third receiver, um, offensive line did their job. Defensively, no, no, no record breakers, but looking good. 19 and a half, 12 and a half, 10 and a half, six is not acceptable. Picks. Josh Norman balled out. Keanu did very well. David Amerson did all right. Uh, Deion Jones had a pick himself. I wish he would have done better. Um, Say look at look tackles. Jordan Hicks is not bad. Some decent uh, decent players, I guess. Not the too spectacular. We got a lot of fumbles from someone. Four forced fumbles from Josh Norman. Three from Dunlap. He recovered three. Not bad. Keanu Neal probably got defensive rookie of the year. Hopefully, Randy Bullock was all right. Uh, punter, yeah, all right. Drew Archer, did he get any touchdowns? Did not. If there was like a backup of the year or like comeback player of the year, Drew Archer would be up there, I think. Offensive yards, 15th. Defensive yards, 10th. Those are definitely playoff numbers. Like kind of like lower seed, but we're you know we're up there. Andy Dalton, number nine. Uh, coach of the year was that not even on the list, which is I don't know. Andy Dalton, third on offensive player of the year for the NF or AFC. Defensive player of the year, Mac was second. Oh, that's so bad. Offensive rookie of the year from both of the Titans. I don't even think we had a rookie of the year. Did we get it? No, where are we? Neil's eighth. Wow. All right. That's crazy. Do we get any of the awards then? AJ Green, thank you very much. Lawan was third. Mac went B, best D lineman. Um, DB, we did not get one. Best kicker, we did not get one. So who got defensive rookie or player of the year? Was he at least best linebacker? He was, so maybe he did ball out. Uh, Drea Archer with 19K. All right. That's a very big shocker. So sadly, we really weren't able to upgrade many players. Uh, the only guy that really benefited a ton was Aaron Donald. He went from a 96 to a 99. <clears throat> of course, a lot of these guys do already have decent... Um, stats themselves already but the big downfall is just the fact that we didn't get a whole lot of XP and it was weird because this is the one time that I actually put the XP sliders up before the season started so that's really a shocker um, but hey I think we're good enough to at least take this win against the uh, Titans we do have some XP for our coach but that's irrelevant right now uh, 87 overall to the 83 Titans that's not bad I mean I think we should easily win this game we have ourselves a freeze that's great because it'll look great on my record when it says I've played it twice so we actually made it into the game this time and the Titans are off to a crazy good start as our defense seems to be able to do nothing but our offense kind of got it going late and they're not gonna get it going here though they the defense stops them the defense is doing actually really good I can't lie because honestly the way it looks to me Andy Dalton's throwing interceptions that's what it looks like 
And, I mean, we're down 8-24. to 24, And I don't know what happened, but we turned over the ball again. I think it's just turnover city for Andy Dalton. Speaking of turnover city, uh, we I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to quickly sim it because we clearly are not going to win this game. Or maybe not. Maybe we got a shot. Oh! What? Okay, so EA just screwed us hard. It was second and 10. No, it was third down. They got a penalty. They got to redo it. And there was three plays later, and they kicked the field goal. How does that... That's like... If I got it wrong, it's still one or two plays. I don't get that at all. And we lose by 13. And that score looks a lot better than it actually was. Andy Dalton had to throw picks on picks. He didn't. We must have fumbled. We fumbled once with Dalton. I don't even know if he lost it, though. I really don't know how he lost. The ball just kept turning around without any punt or field goal. So I don't know what, like, if Sims broke in, what happened. Mack had a sack. That's about it. Williamson had a pick. Maybe the stats are broken. Maybe there was more fumbles. Yeah, they recovered two fumbles. So I don't know where that happened or what happened there. Solid win streak, loss, win streak. We went on a really bad losing streak, though, right at the end. That's So we went four straight losses at the end of the year. That is not a way to finish out a freaking awesome season. He's a little expensive, but I think we can rock him for the rest of the year. Uh, let's go four-year. I'm great. I'm glad, and I am want to re-sign. Brandon Fields, I know he's getting a little older. But we'll give him a year. We'll give him a year to play. I learned the hard way, though, that if you kind of let the AI just... You know, if you get rid of all the free agents, the AI starts signing players that you need. So you end up losing more money in the long run than just re-signing some of your backups. So for the most part, I'm going to try to re-sign all the backups that I like. Uh, we didn't see who won the Super Bowl, actually. Tom Brady, of course, retires. League schedule. I would assume the Seahawks won. The Chiefs do have a shot, though. The Seahawks do win by 10 Take a quick look at the scores. It just seemed like every team got one off by the next on who was the better defense. Like, it's just weird. Uh, Lockett did very well. Uh, let's see. Sacks, not a whole lot. The Chiefs were balling out with those. KJ Wright's a beast. And like I said, that's someone being Alshon Jeffrey. Now, if I would have known Alshon Jeffrey was going to be here, I probably wouldn't have re-signed uh, Floyd. Uh, what do we need? If I could get that DT, if I can get Benny Logan for cheap, I could get rid of uh, Atkins because he was actually really shit for us and he is very expensive. Start the draft. Hopefully we got a decent pick. The 9th and the 13th. That is interesting. That It sucks, but it's still interesting. Nonetheless, you can't. Can't deny its interestingness. Uh, are we even going to be able to land any of these guys? So which corner could we go with? This guy's decent. Coleco. Coleco. That's his name. Coleco Poyer. Please don't take him. They're going to take him. I knew it because they needed one. He was so far down the list. He was like the third or fourth. I should have just traded up. I seen the Redskins name and I knew the moment I saw the name I was like yep they're gonna take them and they do so we're gonna take Lindsley Lindsay quick development trade so that's exactly what we're I mean that's not exactly what we're looking for but it's not bad nine taken at nine looking good we're gonna take this guy we're gonna take him normal but he's so good he's such a beast it was worth the pick I don't care I don't think we're gonna be able to trade up though for uh, this Poyer guy and they take them. So Redskins take both of the corners we want. They might have landed a really good draft. I'm not even going to lie. Looker is there. We're going to take him. Please be decent. Quick development trade. So a bit of a sleeper. Very, very slow. Um, we'll have to compare him to Jeremy Hill because Jeremy Hill isn't that fast himself. Coverage, they're like very similar. But uh, Poyer is a lot faster. So I'm seeing that Poyer, in my opinion, is better. Coleco is taller, though. Uh, Coleco is normal, so that's not a player you really care about. Both normal, so I'm not going to say that they were bust, but... Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Sean Williams is at 85 overall? How the hell did that happen? So the Lions took Beckett. 
pretty fast. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. No, he's actually not faster than our guy. I was about to say because our guy had a better 40 time. Only difference is this guy's going to have Superstar, which is really sucky. Um, it sucks so much that we took the other guy. And, like, we didn't take him instead. Obviously, we didn't. Um, but the guy we got was still decent. What, did he have normal or did he have quick? I thought he had quick. Elijah Boyle. He had normal only. Fuck's sake. He was still really good. He retrade Jeremy Hill, a fourth and a fifth round this year for the Niners' first round pick. So we're about to get this trade 100%. Uh, we traded the first overall pick this year and the 29th pick next year, which is our own, plus Carlos Dunlap for Joey Bosa. Bosa's more, um, what is it called? Ex not experienced, but he's better overall and he's a lot cheaper. Why is AJ Green regressing? Come on now, AJ. You're disappointing me here. So let's take a look at our roster. Ooh, we almost had the rookie not in. That would have been a huge mistake. I would have never forgiven myself. All right, let's go to defense. So Bosa in at left end. I should have known that was going to happen. I fucking hate that. Is this going to shift him in? Well, it didn't put uh, our boy in at left end, but we'll fix that real quick. So we're going to just keep it like that. That's looking good. I like that. I like that a lot. So we are ready to go into the next season. Maybe get some NFL sack awards on the defense. Oh, this is bad. I'm going to try to guess the next name. Is that Eifert? Yeah. <laughs> good job guessing it. <laughs> I can't see the other guy, so I wouldn't know. Lawan. I'm just going to take a guess off of contracts. The next guy is Allen Robinson. I'm going to take a next guy, next look off of contracts. Um, Amerson. Oh, my. Next look is Amerson. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Hopefully, we have a ridiculous money. Please, 90 mil. 90 mil. 66 is not enough. Oh, we're going to. No, we're going to lose the team. And Aaron Donald's looking for more money than fucking Mac is. It has to be done. You guys got an absolute steal. Geno Atkins, Deion Jones, and a second round next year for Sheldon Rankins. Really just a gigantic money-saving move. Rest in peace, Saints salary cap. So we made the playoffs, but we did not get the bye week. We are 10-6. and six. Sadly, so are the Colts. That might be the draft pick we have, too. I might just take a peek. I normally don't, but I might. Uh, Andy Dalton, I think, played a little bit better than last year. Yeah, he played a slight bit better than last year. I'll take it. Um, the rookie did not have a lot of, uh, oh, he did have to, 10 touchdowns. It's not bad, but he only fumbled three times. So is it good enough for rookie of the year? Probably not. 3.1 a carry is very bad, but at the same time, he's very slow. So kind of gives a little bit of a homage to the offensive line who did give up 22 sacks from Taylor Lewan alone. Uh, Lindsay obviously got the, oh, Bosa, but Lindsay obviously got, uh, defensive rookie of the year. Let's take a look at picks though. Um, Neil finally balling out. Um, Hicks did very well at right out as well. So let's see. What am, I, well, what am I doing? Let's take a look at sacks though. Bose, I believe, is that one shy or is that a tie of the record? I don't remember. Uh, MacDonald. Uh, Rankins didn't really do much worse than stupid old booty butt. What is his name? Gino Atkins. Fuck's sake, couldn't think of his name. Uh, the kicker, Josh Lambo. I did not know he had Josh Lambo. now. I should have taken a look. He's terrible, and he probably cost a lot of money since our team probably gave him whatever wacky-ass contract he wanted. So the big moment of truth is how many awards did we get if we got any? Sec 22nd, or 23rd in offense, 10th in defense. Very consistent on the defense, so I'll give it that. Um, no awards for that. Chargers did get an award there. AFC, Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year, we didn't even come close. Bosa's not even close. Wow, our rookie actually got almost there. No! Fuck you, Arsenic. Second place. That's huge. Of course, our guy got defensive rookie there. No surprise there. Best wide out. Um, where's our guy? All right, all the way down at six. Best all line. Nowhere near this time. Joey Bosa, best D lineman. Best linebacker. Not even close. And obviously, uh, DB not. And also, kicker not. So, let's take a look at our... XP real quick. Uh, actually, we're going to upgrade our coach, then check out the XP. We're in kind of a like a bad ship, to, though, to, considering the fact that we have a running back with quick development trade only, not even enough to get to Superstar. Oh, he does have enough. Okay, that's awesome. But he, barely enough to get to Superstar 
with only 84 speed, 69 awareness. Oh, 71 awareness. I'm going to say that that's it because his uh, carrying and stuff is actually not bad. So he's got to get his speed up to like 88 at least. And then his awareness to like 85. So this is what the team is looking like after all the upgrades. Uh, nothing too spectacular. A few of these guys did actually get Superstar of Trade. Don't know how Robinson's a 92. I just upgraded him. He was a 90. Uh, or maybe he did go up to a 92. I don't know. Uh, Neil is at a 90. Kind of where he usually is. Even though he usually plays strong safety. Uh, maybe we'll change that, see if Boyle's better at free safety. Doubt it, but could be. Uh, the real need we have is cornerback. Linebacker position's actually starting to get there a bit now. Uh, is this a Super Bowl team? I don't know. It could be. Uh, the offensive line is where you want for a Super Bowl uh, O-line. Maybe a little bit better, obviously. Uh, the wide receivers are decent enough. The running back is the real downfall, and that's usually what Super Bowl winners have. So I'm a little worried about that. But anyways, the Colts should be a win, but then again, we lost to the Titans, so we'll see. So hopefully we take this win. 87 overall still. I don't know if I see it. We got a, we got a decent bit of overalls. I guess to be fair, we did use a lot of most of the XPs on the development rate upgrade for whatever player. Obviously, from normal to quick, quick to superstar. I don't know who's exactly got it. Another three, but field goals aren't good enough. As you can see by your opponent who just scored seven, giving them the lead. Third and one, they get stuffed by, uh, I don't know who, but somebody. Huge play on first down, AJ Green. You've got AJ, you got all these targets, pal. What are you doing? We're going to lose this game with another, uh, another three-yard stop. Huge first down to Dorsett. They look like they're going to score a touchdown, and if they do, they're going to go up by eight. But on third down, another three-yard stop. I don't know who's been coming up with these stops. But they've been huge. And uh, speaking of these stops, what you doing, Andy Dalton? How you doing, pal? Another stop. You've had so many opportunities. Is that our old player that just got that? Oh, fourth and seven. We get the seven-yard play. But it wasn't enough. Oh, what is life? They're going to have just enough time to try to bring this back. Huge play to Michael Floyd. And he throws an interception. And the Bengals... Once again, cannot win a playoff game. Guess who starts that issue they've had? Mr. Andy Dalton, who threw four interceptions and is going to be looking for a new team next year. Rest in peace, but it's long overdue. Andrew Luck got, like, fucking pressured like a moaf, and yet he didn't even throw a single one. I know he didn't throw that many yards, but no one cares how many times you can get down the field. It's how many times you can score. Josh Lambeau had to score more points than you did, pal. I am out of it. There needs to be changes around here. Andy Dalton's the first one. He's the guy that needs to be pointed at. What has he done? The season was the one, and the every single postseason is the done. 91 offense, 91 defense. So we did actually downgrade an offense. I don't know what it was from. Um, Jeremy Hill wasn't that good, let's be honest. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Andy Dalton, like his stats are good. He plays really well in the regular season, but the postseason comes around and he just scrubs it. Um, we have a lot of re-signings to do as well. What is our team looking like? Okay, so, I mean, if you guys didn't know, I don't record these all in one go. That would just be insane. It takes forever to record these. I wonder if he won the Super Bowl. We'll have to take a look at that. And negotiate last chance, I believe... Had something to do with the bonus. So that should be good enough. If not, we're going to have to tag him. Fuck you. That, how much is the tag? Tag's actually a better deal for us. We really need to not suck these contracts. Like, these contracts can't suck. Thank God. Uh, Eifert's pretty solid. He's very important, actually. So we're going to get him. He's got Superstar of Trade. Very important, actually. Thank you. We're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're getting there. Allen Robinson, quick development trade. We're actually going to hold off on Allen because wide receivers aren't the toughest position to get. Superstar development trade? Jesus, these guys are beasts. Please stay. Yeah, there we go. I would like to play for a new team next year. What's the tag on this? 8.58. So, sadly, Perfect's going to have to go because we obviously have to tag Khalil Mack. I'm not going to let him go to free agency. He's a good player, so I think we have to try to get him back. Can we do it? And it is doable. Negotiate last chance for Bodine. I think we're going to just give him this offer. He's happy to stay. So, I mean, we're running low on money. But at the same time, we're looking all right as well. Uh, we did lose Perfect. I mean, linebacker's not the hardest position to, you know, fill in this game. 
Uh, in real life, that position would be rough to try to replace. But we could still try to get him here. How much money do we have? 18 mil? 18 mil. Odell Beckus Jr. Oh, no! Once again! Screwed over by the free agents. And see, I would assume everyone re-signed. Or not re-signed, but signed with us. Odell and Mosley. That would be a huge free agency splash. I'm going to go straight the draft from now. Hopefully we got one of them as a backup. Otherwise, EA is going to give us some bullshit. I should have just signed some random backup, like, all the way down on the bottom of the list. Starting draft. What is it? We're one left outside linebacker away. I mean, technically, we're not even that because we already have one. We just need a backup. Obviously, I don't want slow, but I want at least a decent player or development. Normal development trait. Decent player, but uh, that's rough. We're just going to trade down. There's nothing to look at here. So we know where we stand as a team. Uh, we ended up with Jay Cutler and uh, RG3. Ironic, both of them wanted to join the team. I know why. Uh, sadly, that means Cutler. See you later, pal. Rest in peace. Means you are gone. <laughs> we have a lot of players. Let's see what our team is actually looking like. Um, I kind of got distracted by the fact that we had a backup. Uh, so our money situation is bad. I like to wait till next year to kind of see where we're looking at for um, what the hell is it called? Where we're looking at for contracts. So I'm not going to touch that yet. Tanico, he's got a chance of being rookie of the year. So why not? So here we trade Michael Floyd in a fourth round to the Rams for a first round pick. So uh, we're looking pretty good, honestly. Uh, don't know how many more years. I think we'll do this year for sure and then another one. And if we don't have a Super Bowl by then, well. That sucks. <laughs> so this was rough, but we had to give them AJ Green a first round this year and next year for Amari Koopy. Koopy? Cooper. <laughs> what a fucking Koopy um, for, of course, Amari Cooper. But um, that was probably the most realistic trade we've had in a long time. If anything, it's unrealistic in the fact that we would have never taken that. Uh, we would have found someone else to get rid of. But uh, overall, it was the better move um, just for the fact that we don't even need draft picks anyways. We are 13 and 3. Let's go. Just came back. The screen was probably on for ages for me. Uh, third in the NFL for touchdowns. Andy Dalton has a really good touchdown to pick ratio, though. I'll give him that. Only thing that's weird about. Oh, nice season, finally. Uh, the only thing that's weird is how is that third in the NFL for touchdowns? How? <laughs> 110 pass rating. I don't know if he got MVP, but he's, he was probably up there. Like, let's be honest, he was probably close. Uh, Amari Cooper as a third receiver got a thousand yards like he deserves to be number two for sure uh, Everyone else did all right that sacks actually allowed actually went down uh, Bosa Breaks the NFL record for sacks and overall the defense just dominates I don't know how Hicks got ten sacks though in a 4-3 fuck's sake the man is really itching for a contract Only guy with even more than one pick is Norman who's been balling out ever since we traded for him which is awesome Maybe DB of the year. I don't know. Uh, Mac with a bunch of forced fumbles. Bosa definitely uh, D lineman of the year. Maybe even defensive player of the year, which would be insane. Uh, Brandon F uh, Fields still playing with a strong. Odell Beckham got a touchdown on the punt, which is nice. First in defensive yards and 17th in offense. That's interesting. Uh, it makes sense, I guess. We have ourselves... A uh, Le'Veon Bell MVP winner. Now, he's not as weird as um, when uh, Devonta Freeman won it because Freeman, he's not usually up there as Bell is, but holy crap, that's kind of crazy. Coach of the Year, Mike Tomlin. AFC Offensive Player of the Year is Bell. Defensive Player of the Year is Bosa. Our guy actually almost got the... <laughs> he's probably going to be best linebacker as well. Offensive Rookie of the Year. I don't even think we had one. Uh, is this Bacon guy, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Our guy was fourth. So the Bills had a really good year, apparently. Andy Dalton, best quarterback. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, running back, we are eighth. That's a little disappointing. Wide receiver, we are fifth and sixth. Not bad. O-lineman, we had all five behind DeCastro. That is unfair. Oh, but Bosa gets D-lineman of the year. I don't understand where our guy is. Where is our guy? What? Number 10, yet he was the second best defensive player of the year. Wow, this game is retarded. Either way, we got, what, three or four awards? That's not bad. I wish our guy would have gotten, our rookie would have got the defensive rookie of the year award. That would have been huge for him. 
Let's take a look at what we got. Joey Bosa. So we have a bunch of XP to get for our players. Uh, you know, they're not, not get XP, but spend it, obviously. Uh, you'll see what the team looks like after this. So this is what the team is looking like. Uh, Dalton's still only an 89 overall. Looker is a 79. Uh, speed's a little bit up. I don't remember exactly what it is. Uh, he's still not super great, but, I mean, he had a decent season, so I can't complain. Odell's a 99. Um, Amari Cooper should probably push to number two. We're going to do that. Uh, 87 overall for our ro once rookie strong safety. Neal's up to a 92. Norman's a 91. Tanico goes up, I believe, one spot. Um, I don't want to change anything on the defense because we're balling. Well, <laughs> it helps when you have a front seven like this. This is a ridiculous front seven. 13 and 3, and you don't play a single home game. Like, other than obviously if you ended up playing the other wildcard team for the championship. But, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Like, 13-3, and they don't get a single home game. Wow. Um, but, hey, we're the best team in the NFL. 95 overall. I don't remember what the other one we had was, if it was 99, 95 or not. But I know we got 94 before. Might have also had 95. I'm not going to lie. But this defense is balling. Uh, they have a chance to go down the field. They don't, though. Third and 10 gets sacked by Sheldon Rankins, one of our worst pass rushers, ironically. Even though he's actually really solid. Uh, here we go. First and 10 to Tyler Croft, the backup tight end. Uh, balling out on the run game, it appears. Third and one, Tyler Eifert. Another Tyler gets the ball. And we do finish the drive with a touchdown uh, on fourth and 14. They actually clutch it. So they have a chance to get this game back as they're only within three here. However, we look like we're going to run the ball out. And we do. Thank you. Finally, we win a goddamn playoff game. Wow. Uh, let's see. Looks like Andy Dalton was slightly outgunned. Didn't throw an interception, though, so you were not outgunned, Mr. Dalton. You finally showed up to the big game. Finally. Uh, Looker played very well. He outperformed Jamal Charles, which in real life, that's not something hard to do. That really sucks, man. Jamal Charles was such a beast. I, I don't even know what his career direction is going to be. Um, but, hey, the both of the tight ends went off. I would like to think Tyler Eifert did better just for the fact that he had two touchdowns and uh, he didn't drop a pass. Looker got the ball a lot. Really similar games, though. Quarterbacks were similar. Running backs were similar. The receptions, the styles were similar from that. Like, it's so ridiculous. 99099D. It has been a long time since that has happened, even though I really don't see it. I'm not going to lie. I'm personally going to admit it. I don't see it. Uh, let's take a look at what overall they are. They can't be too high of an overall. They are an 83 overall. There's no way they have enough offense to get this game done against our defense. There's just no way. Uh, I mean, I am assuming this is going to be a win, but let's just do the slow sim. That's our ritual here. Very big turnover there. What is going on, man? I have no idea. Lots of turnovers. It appears both teams turned it over at least three to four times each. I kid you not. So we do win 24 to three, kind of what you would expect. So Rodgers has two Super Bowls, which means he did win, of course. Tom Brady retired. Did he win? No, no, no. Wait, whoa, wait, wait, no. Calm down. So we won uh, two playoff games going against the 86 overall Saints. I don't see how they could find a way to win. They could, but I just don't see it. They, I don't even think they have Drew Brees anymore. What is going on? We're down 31-3. to three. Okay, we got a touch. I don't know who it was. I'm going to slow sim this. The defense is not playing well. Okay, we stopped them, so 21 points is not going to happen. Oh, my Lord. If you, like, I get that it's a tough situation. Most teams don't have to even deal with that. Fourth and two, they are not going for it there. No chance in hell. That is so fake. Look at this team. I'm going to I'm gonna bet money Andy Dalton was the reason. I mean, we got two wins in the playoffs, so I'm happy, I guess. But the Saints win a Super Bowl on our team. A 95 overall team. What is going on? It's going to be one of those we couldn't finish. It probably won't even be interceptions. It wasn't. It was one. I mean, Andy Dalton played like shit, but one interception shouldn't be it. Roberg? Fuck off. Tevin Coleman? Tevin Coleman was their leading back. They just ust us. What the fuck, man? What about blah? We, Cam Jordan went off while ours guys. Gene... Geno motherfucking Atkins just won a goddamn Super Bowl against us. I mean, I, I guess one of the Bengals players won. The rookie gets a goddamn pick. Oh, my Lord. Cairo Santos. Suck a dick, dude. 
Could you imagine seeing that? Drew Brees. I don't know if it's last. I mean, it was his last season. Last season plays for the Jets. And the Saints win a Super Bowl. <laughs> that is the, that's like the saddest story I've ever heard in my life. Like, I honestly feel bad for the guy. Let's see how, how good the guy is for the Saints, though, to be fair. We lost to an 84 overall quarterback. I mean, to be fair, he is one of the best 84 overall quarterbacks I've ever seen. Whoa, let's uh, let's take a look at our draft picks. Oh, which round are we? Oh, what pick are we going to be? <gasps> oh, we forgot. We don't have one. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the notification from the league that I host. Killer Keemstar. Let's find our middle linebacker. He's a late first rounder, so we could probably get to like 18. If someone takes that middle linebacker, I'm going to kill myself tonight. I won't, but I mean, I'm, I'm making false promises. Suck a dick. Quarterback, quarterback. Three quarterbacks so far, I believe. Got to be, like, the middle linebacker. They don't even need a middle linebacker. All right. All right. Okay. Yep. That's that's the player I was looking for. Oh, man. Great, oh, great job. So we did actually make the playoffs and got a bye week again. And the Saints get their man the actual MVP award. Andy Dalton, he's a fucking regular season baller. But that's not that what matters. I don't know who Bozeman is, but he actually played very well. Uh, kinda. Um, tons of touchdowns all over the place. Not a lot of consistency for yardage, but hey, spreading the ball around, I like it, Andy. I just I wish he would spread the wids around in the, uh, the Super Bowl, but all right, you know, all right. Um, sacks down on uh, production for sure. Interceptions, just completely garbage. Josh Norman is probably on the verge of retirement out here. Uh, kicking Cairo Santos. We must have finished very well. We did have a lot of touchdowns. He only had 6 of 10. Very bad percentage, um, but in general, just not a lot of attempts. So, 6th in offensive yardage, about goddamn time. Defensive, still first, man. Jordan Hicks is important as hell, but that just that's not an homage to how bad Hicks was because he was great. But just how good overall this defense was. Um, defensive player of the year, Denzel Perriman. That's a new face. Defensive rookie of the year, Sexington, Ellington, whatever the fuck his name was. Are we going to have any of the awards? We got Muhort at O-line. And the Steelers almost just walked away with every award on the offense. That would have been crazy. Um, but hey, we probably got some XP. At this point in the rebuild, I will just be uh, auto-simming it. So hopefully that works out. Uh, I should have probably done something with the linebacker situation. Put it, should have put that shitty guy in there, but it's whatever. Let's just try to win a goddamn game. I forgot we had fucking Coach XP on shit. So we're against the Jets, who I don't know if they drafted a rookie or not, but they lost Drew Brees. So they, I mean, they shouldn't, in reality, they shouldn't be better than last year, but here they are. So, I mean, we should, in reality, we should destroy them. Which, it looked almost as if they were about to score there. They didn't. They must have turned it over. No finishing. So, we finish all season long. And we hit the playoffs and we're just kicking field goals. Alright. I mean, there it makes sense because we ran out of time. But, three field goals so far. Four field goals out of our 19 points. Five field goals. So, the defense is going to shut them out potentially. Oh, we scored a touchdown. Oh, my God. Let's just quickly go through this. We destroyed them we shut out the jets that's complete shutout there's i mean don't even get the benefit of the doubt of watching the cutscene under 100 yards for trevor simeon don't know how they even made the playoffs but uh looker did all right looker's been kind of a slacker though to be honest we've given him all the opportunities to win and do well and he's just not done well because he just isn't fast enough i think that's just simply what it is as long as he's not fumbling mac and bosa do well Tanico and boyle two youngsters get it done Cairo Santos really got it done though speaking of people that got it done because he's very bad like he's played very poorly for us over almost every rebuild honestly uh, but there in the playoffs he did very well so believe it or not we are still a 99 offense and defense which is pretty awesome let's get on to the next week though so we are here against the Broncos I'm assuming we're still going to be a 95 overall I don't know if we're going to be able to get past that that might be the max in this game 
95 overall to the 86 Denver Broncos. 86 overall Denver Broncos, that is. Um, did it freeze again? I even had, like, because you guys heard it already probably earlier, but I don't record these all in one day for this series because it takes forever. But um, I played a little bit of solo challenges in between the time, and I had a solo freeze recently. I don't know what's going on with my Madden, but I'm not liking it. Oh, man, oh, man. We are going against the Broncos, who I don't usually get to see much. Eh, I don't want that. Um, don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but... Either way, we're in it, and we need to win it, and we get three points. We got down the field very quickly, but did not finish well. 24-yard uh, line, can we get a touchdown? We do, so that's a great start for us. We stop them to three. We get a touchdown. We get a pick. We get another touchdown, but they get one. So very interesting back and forth second quarter there. Moving on to the third. They are within a touchdown. We do get another touch on ourselves and another one, so that is most likely going to be the game. It looked like it was almost anyone's game there until about the three-minute mark in the third quarter. Then we just took over as we have in the fourth, uh, allowing them to score zero points, it appears. And they do get a touch on last second, but we do win by a crazy number. So we are back in the Super Bowl for the second time. That is a weird set of numbers. Andy Dalton well outperformed Lyndon Brandt. Um, did throw an interception, but I mean, obviously you can't be perfect all the time. Uh, not that he's even close to that, but not bad. We held CJ Anderson to three yards of carry. That's really good. Um, we were averaging a ton of yards through the air though. Holy shit. I guess so was Demarius. Um, defensively, we had three with Bosa, one with Mac, and then some linebackers, some other crappers shared they're not really crabbers but you know what i'm saying uh super bowl time i have no idea who's on the other side for this super bowl but hey back to the super bowl we got four playoff wins out of three years maybe four years i don't know we, either way we're still balling out a playoff win for every year which is not the truth at all uh, i don't care about any of this shit we're still 95 though 90 this is like the closest I've ever seen at this point in a rebuild for a team overall. Normally they're like 87, 88, but 90 overall from the Seahawks. All right. 12 and 4 battle. This would be actually a really epic Super Bowl, at least leading up to it. It looks like a really good one. Uh, let's see if we can hold on to it. Our right outside linebacker position is very weak. Is it going to be the death of us? I don't know. That right outside linebacker spot is looking very scary. So I have no idea where the Super Bowl is, but it looked to be a some sort of dome. AT&T Stadium. All right. So uh, I believe that's the Cowboys, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have ourselves a three-point score. I really wish we would have scored back with a touchdown. And our defense actually comes alive there, but theirs does as well. And it's a one-point game. It's a two-point game. Start of the third quarter. That is interesting. This is a battle for the ages, and we do score three. We get the ball back and score another three, so we are up by eight to start this fourth quarter. It's going to be an interesting one, as the Seahawks are most likely going to score here. Are they going to do it? They do. Can they get the two-point conversion is the question. They can't. It was actually sack City by Mosley there, so a two-point deficit middle of the fourth. We do have the punt, though. Oh, I believe a fumble just happened. Other than that, it would be a really short interception. Something the uh, Seahawks know a little bit about in the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying. We're up by nine with six minutes left. And what happens here? Penalty on the offense. They can still get down the field. Do they? They're going to punt it, surprisingly. I. <gasps> oh, it's a penalty. I thought it was a turnover. It sucks that we do have to punt it, so it's kind of like a turnover. Third and five, huge clutch throw down the field. They kick their field goal, so they're only down by six. We really need to finish this game out. And it doesn't look like we're going to. So they are going to have the ball for the final drive of the game. They look like they might win this thing. No way. We. This is crazy. I. Um... Oh my god. Did they clutch it? Oh. <gasps> wow. We. That was, hands down, the craziest finish to a rebuild ever. They There was like 20 seconds left. They were like 10 yards away, and the defense clutched up. Fourth and one, we got a sack. 
from five yards away. That is ridiculous. The Bengals have not only won a playoff game, but they've won the Super Bowl. It's happened. Um, and not every rebuild, if you're new if you're new to the channel, uh, not every rebuild ends like this. There's been plenty of rebuilds where we have just done horrendously. Can't even win a playoff game. So don't just assume, ah, well, it's easy. You're always going to win the Super Bowl. I've not done well. Funny enough, Marvin Lewis is the coach of the uh, Seahawks. And another one is... Uh, a defensive player won MVP for the Super Bowl. That's that's a new sighting. Don't know who that was. Maybe Neil? Could have been Neil. It was a lot of stat line. I didn't even see what it was exactly. Wilson and Dalton both, they played really badly. Um, Dalton, of course. I, nah, I guess Wilson did play worse. I was going to say what's his name played worse, but Looker didn't play well. Just the whole team on offense was not great. Defensively, though, how were we? How were we? Bosa doing his thing as usual. Mac kind of disappearing. Richard Sherman balled out for sure. He would have been MVP for them. Who was the guy? Number 35. So it was Neil. He had an interception. No force fumbles. I don't know why he was MVP. He didn't really have an insane stat line. Santos, I think, would be a better MVP choice. Five for five in the Super Bowl. I think, I don't know if it's ever happened, but I think that would have been the first time in NFL history that a kicker has won Super Bowl MVP. So we won a Super Bowl. That's going to be the rebuild. Uh, there's nothing really else to do. We got the Super Bowl right as our team's about to kind of fall apart here. We'd have to get rid of probably Andy Dalton or someone. I don't know. Uh, he really wasn't even the leader for us. It was just the defense as a whole. We'd have to do everything we could to keep the defense intact. Neil's very good. 95 overall. He's our best defensive back which is pretty insane. Usually the safeties are nowhere near that good for me. Um, but hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. I do one of these per week. Was thinking about upping it to two per week. I asked for some crazy number like 400 likes. Didn't hit it. So we're going to try to hit 350 on this one. And then we'll do a second rebuild this week. I have no plans for one. So if you guys hit that number, I'm going to have to work my ass off. I'll tell you that. But hey, hopefully uh, you guys come back for next video. But until next video...